Hey everybody, there's my music. Um, how we doing today? Um, I'm doing well. Um, I haven't seen you since Sunday, so this will be nice. Um, we are back here at Fall Arbor Town, where all things begin apparently. I feel like I have started so many episodes in this town. Um, and we are continuing our journey to switch train, or sorry, to EV train our squad. Um, and our squad is, let me show you, this is our Battle Frontier squad. We got Stevie the Beldum holding that, excuse me, holding that macho brace. We've got Harry Jr. the Starmie looking pretty good. We did some uh, special attack EV training on him last time. And then finally we have Arrow the Bag On. Um, still, still getting things going with him. Um, so one thing that I actually recently learned is that if you put out a Pokemon first, swap them out, and have another Pokemon KO uh, the wild Pokemon, this Pokemon will still get the EVs. I actually didn't know that. So we are heading here to the Desert Underpass, and we are going to do some switch training for Beldum, um, because we really want to get him evolved. Um, and here in the Desert Underpass, you can really find some high-level HP EV giving Pokemon. Like this Ditto here, for example. Um, let's see. And now we're going to swap into Blaine. And not only will this be a good way for Beldum to get um, EVs, it will be really nice. Let me use Fly. Um, it'll be really nice to get him up a couple levels so he can maybe train more independently. Because right now, all he's got is Takedown. Alright, so Ditto's trying to use Sky Attack. Hopefully, I can knock it out in one hit. We'll see. Ah, not, not quite. Let's see how, what this does. Oh my gosh. I flinched! What? Oh, wow. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, that is insane. Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, Alright, so don't fly. Okay, good. You're still gonna try to use Sky Attack. I can still... Okay, good. My lord almighty. This was supposed to be a pretty simple exercise. Uh, but Beldum does get those two HP EVs, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Ditto gives one, and with the Macho Brace, that is two. Um, <laughs> that's incredible. Um, perfect. A critical hit flinch fly uh, sky attack. That is completely insane. Um... So let's uh, get a nice Hyper Potion on our friend Blaine. That was amazing. Love how Hyper Potions still do 200 in this game. Um, but, um, what is there to talk about? I'm not going to mess around with Ditto just because... Oh, I can't escape from Beldum. Oh, but that's actually okay. Because now I can swap into... Blaine. And even though I can't do uh, the damage, it'll be not very effective. It has no <laughs> no threat of killing me. There we go. And that's a one shot no matter what. That's incredible. So then Beldum still gets that. Um, but uh, this is actually my last week off before I go back to work, which is crazy. Um, but it's a good thing overall, for sure. Um, let's see here. It, yeah, I think it'll be a good thing. Ugh. Okay, so this is a little more annoying than I thought, but that's okay. Um, really our goal right now is to get, um, <laughs> of course we miss, um, is to get Stevie to level 20. Um, because once Stevie's at level 20, um, he will evolve into Matang, and we will be far more equipped to EV train on our own. There we go. 
So we're getting there. But yeah, as I was saying, um, I think it'll be good for me to go back to school because I just feel like I have been uh, just feeling strange, feeling a little bit, feeling a little bit aimless at times, you know, because I still want to try to stay busy with stuff and other artistic and creative pursuits, but sometimes it's still hard to do that. And my wife is working, so I'm really trying to stay on top of all the house and home type stuff so uh, one great thing is Loudred here actually gives two HP EVs and when doubled with the Macho Brace that's going to give Beldum four of those so we love to see that um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is a little boring without the music sometimes let's see so right, oh wow, that did, oh that was a critical hit. Um, so right now, Beldum has about 57 attack EVs and 63 HP EVs. Those are kind of the primary ones we're going for here. Um, let's see. But then I also want to get him some speed. Excuse me. But yeah, kind of excited to go back to work, maybe kind of structure my life a little bit more sometimes. I, I like a good mix. I like I like a lot of freedom, but some structure can be good as well. Um, and one thing I wanted to note, uh, just while we're, while we're training here, I finally finished Attack on Titan. And I literally was afraid to say what I was watching, just on the off chance that someone throws a chat in here saying what happens, someone comments on uh, the YouTube video, something that happens. I was petrified of spoilers, and I dodged them all. I was very happy about that, um, and it was probably one of the most incredible shows I've ever seen. The show's amazing. The show is perfect. It's so devastating. So devastating. Um, the ending is really good. Um, yeah, was very happy with that experience. Um, and really, really, really glad I was able to watch it. Um, cause I really enjoy anime. All things considered, I haven't seen that many. Um, but Attack on Titan now, easily my favorite. Maybe not easily, but definitely my favorite. Because um, I also really love uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. That is probably my other favorite. Um, and then while I'm at it, my top three. <laughs> um, number three would probably be Ranking of Kings. I really love Ranking of Kings. Um, but yeah, Attack on Titan uh, fed my soul uh, greatly. It was amazing. It was so, 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 so good. And I highly recommend it for, I, cause you know, for someone like me who has a lot of friends that aren't into anime, um, I always would love to like recommend um, a show that they would actually watch and enjoy. Um, that doesn't feel too, like, anime-y, you know? Um, for lack of a better term. And, uh, I feel like Attack on Titan is that show. It's just so objectively good that even if you don't enjoy anime regularly... Okay, I'm glad that still knocked it out. Even if you don't enjoy anime regularly, um, I think the show is just so good and the writing is just so incredible. Um that you would be able to enjoy it still. Um, uh, Ziggy's got a new item, which is great. Um, let me see here. Ah, yes. These Whismers, um, they really just, um, really love using Roar. Hey, JJ, and hello, Brody. Oh, Brody, you have the X-Splow. That's perfect. 
Um, that is perfect. We are just knocking out some Whismers and Loudrids and mostly Dittos, honestly. Um, there we go. How are we doing today, folks? Let's see. Ba -da -do, do, 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 do. I was just discussing how I finally finished Attack on Titan and my, my life uh, is just uh, a beautiful song now that I have experienced it. Um, tired but good. I, I feel you, I feel you. Devastating show, it's true. Really, from the first episode, they set the tone. They set the tone. And I don't want to give anything away because it was such a gift that I, uh, you know, didn't know what was happening as I went. But, uh, you know, it is not a spoiler to say that it's a devastating show. Um, a whole game of Outlaster. I don't even know what that means. What is Outlaster? Do, 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 do. Oh, I gotta get that item off city. I love how Altaria has just been our resident powerhouse over here just because it knows fly. Um, okay, so that is gonna be another one of those. Some Loudrids would be great. Um, I don't have too many more of these flies. There we go. Up to seventy seven there. There we go. Level nineteen. Um that's great to see. All right, I'm going to remember to get that item off of Ziggy. <laughs> I'm over three. I'm gonna use Sky Attack. Just cause I'm feeling, I'm feeling frisky. There we go. Goodbye, sir. Um, and Blaine gets a level rarely. All right, so that's gonna be four. So that's great. Um, da -da -do, do -do -do. Yeah, and the thing here is just there's just an extra step on get on knocking out these dittos, which is kind of annoying, but that's okay. Perfection eighty three. Um, it's it's like TDI and Survivor. You are in a team, and if you lose the competition, your team has to vote someone off. Ooh, I see. Um, how did it go? Did you get voted off? We're just getting repels over here on Ziggy. Third place, not bad, you got the bronze. Do we have any Olympics people in the house? It's super, it's been super fun. Oh, I got away from that one. Um, watching the Olympics has been super awesome, honestly. Um, all right, let's see if we can not get roared by this Whismer. I am not confident in that. And that's annoying because all of our attacks are two turn attacks and we got roared anyway. Yeah, Whismers I might just run away from. There we go. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I scratched my eye. Oh, as you can see, I got a haircut today. I got it a little shorter than I usually do. Um, which was just scandalous of me. Um, but I wanted to get a nice fresh cut before I go back to school, unfortunately. I mean, not unfortunately, you know, it's a good job. Um, but, you know, I was just talking about how I want structure and now I'm just like, I don't wanna work. <laughs> oh, classic me. Yeah, once, um, once our boy 
Beldum gets to level 20 and evolves, which should be in a Pokemon or two. Oops, I did the wrong thing. I am probably going to run from this. There we go. Um, um, well, yeah, once Beldum gets to level 20, we're probably going to relocate. Um, so we can have our newly evolved Matang fight on his own. Um, ah, okay, so you were... You were the villain and you were pretending to be... Okay, you were a villain and lying and pretended to be in an alliance. I see. Games where you have to lie, man, I hate them. Okay, good. I really wanted that to hit still. Okay. 87. I really, really dislike those games because I'm such a terrible liar. Um, but I'm glad to know that you, uh, you were mostly successful in your, uh, in your endeavor, Brody, my friend. Um, let's see. So this might be the one. Blaine, yes, just one fly remaining. This it? Perfect. All right, so that's going to get us to 89, okay? Oh, this is a glorious moment. Finally, we are going to get some moves other than takedown. Ah, glorious. Ooh, love that cry, too. And just like I said, our boy Matang is going to immediately learn Confusion and Metal Claw, which is excellent. Um, both of its types, actually, Psychic and Steel. All right, so now let's pop out of here. We needed to heal our friend Blaine anyway. Um, all right, so now I think I'm going to get into some attack IV um, areas. All right, but first let's heal this squad. Um, <laughs> yes, I would like to see him going crazy, Brody. That's funny. Um, all right, so. I was talking about how the Desert Underpass is a great place to train for HP EVs. Um, and here on Route 21 is a good place to train for attack IVs uh, because you can run into Shuppets, Puchienas, and Mightyenas, and they will all give attack IVs. Um, pretty similar to what we did with the Underpass there. Da, do, 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 do. Ah, but first we have a Gloom to deal with. Um, I did not know that you could find Gloom on this route. I really didn't. It's very interesting. Um, here's a Mighty Anna. Very cool. Hmm. Clear body ability. That's going to be great for the Battle Frontier, meaning Mighty Anna's Intimidate ability that would lower our attack does not work. Just delightful. We might still be a titch of a week for this area. Look at Ziggy. This will get us a nice four attack EVs. I feel like many times throughout um, this process of EV training the squad, I have accidentally called EVs IVs. Um, all right, this is going to be really annoying. There we go. Uh, just sand attacking. Just trying to nerf us, man. Ziggy's too powerful. There we go. Perfection. Um, so that's going to give us four. That'll take us to 61. Love that. Um, all right, Brody. See you, dude. Thanks for stopping in. Um... know what Oddish gives. Part of me thinks it'll be special attack or special defense, maybe? Duh. Oddish gives. Special attack? I was right. How about that? Um, uh, excuse me. Yeah, usually, you know, 
when you are EV training, the Pokemon that you are fighting or, you know, making faint, um, the EV that it gives is going to be the uh, stat that it's, like, known for. Um, oh, with the roar, man. You guys are killing me. I'm about to do something else. All right, let's see what we can do with this Shuppet here. I actually don't remember what... Okay, Ghost does not resist Steel. I don't know why I thought maybe it did. Ah, Curse. This actually helps a lot. Mmm. Curse is such a cool move, by the way. Sixty-three. Oh, hold on, folks. Give me one. All right, I'm back. Lovely. Um, let's see. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Here we go. Um, just had a classic wife interruption, but that's okay. Um, it happens. We're getting divorced now. Just kidding. That's not happening. I don't like that it used curse now, because we might get hit by a curse turn. Oh, hey! What's up, Mom? Um, we definitely got hit by a curse turn. Okay, good. Cool. Um, thanks for stopping in, dude. Um, yeah, we are still, we are still grinding away. We're getting those EVs going. Um, it's, uh, it's quite the process, but it, uh, it will be rewarded in time. Um, I am excited because we'll probably get some nice episodes um, once we get the EV situation, like, ah, oh, yes, I did get a haircut. Thank you for noticing. Um, once we get the EV situation sorted out, we will be able to kind of like grind the squad a bit more freely, honestly. Um, and now that I see this right here, for real, this for my taste is taking a little bit too long. So what I'm going to do for Matang right now, it's not going to gain many levels, but I'm actually going to pop back here at the beginning of the game, where we were originally um, EV training. And I'm going to just take care of some of these really low-level Pokemon very easily. Because they are still... Whether we're fighting a level 3 Wurmple or a level 26 Banette, they're still going to give two EVs of what they give out. Um, so it's not going to be anything too crazy, and we can get a lot more EVs done that way. It kind of worked out better for Starmie, because Starmie just had way better moves. Um, and we could just take stuff out real quick, even though... I could probably do start doing that with Matang. I don't know if Matang can learn Shadow Ball yet. I know that's going to be on its final moveset. Ba, 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 ba. These uh, Wurmples here are going to give HP EVs, by the way. I did swap that over, didn't I? Yes, I did. I was worried. For a second, I really panicked and thought Stevie didn't have the Macho Brace. I was... Uh, uh, shaken for a moment. Da, 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 da. And now for Poochiena, we were needing to grind away with uh, takedown and getting rid of all of our HP, but now, since we have another move, we're in much better shape. Oh, wow, we got the rare attack rays here. It's amazing. One thing... Let me see if I can do this. Ugh. Ugh. Our precious Shadow Ball TM. Huh. It's crazy burning all of our great TMs because I've been saving them. 
And as an anxious person, I just get really anxious to use these TMs in these games. It doesn't matter. The stakes aren't that high, but I still just get uh, still just get weird and anxious. But here we go. Stevie learns Shadow Ball. Perfect. Love that. All right, that's actually pretty helpful. Um, I'm not gonna teach Stevie uh, Psychic yet because even though um, he might have it in his final move set. Um, Oh, I knew Metal Claw was going to miss when I didn't want it to. Um, even though he might not have a Psychic in his normal moveset, um, I'm pretty sure he learns that via level up. Um, let's see. Yes. Sorry, my brain is hatching new ideas as we go. Um, oh, thanks, JJ. I appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Once we hit our next level, now that our Matang knows Shadow Ball, it's going to be way more equipped to knock out Shuppets. Um, excuse me. And I am seeing here that if we go to the first floor of Mount Pyre, um, all you can encounter are Shuppets. So that's actually really good. And Shuppets give attack um, EVs, which is great. Um, and something we need to keep doing. Okay. There's a lot to keep track of when you do this. The Macho Brace is a real game changer. It really, really helps. Because um, it cuts this entire process in half, which I love so very much. But yeah, um, I could talk about Attack on Titan for the rest of my life, it seems, at this point. I, uh, <laughs> I've really been going down a YouTube rabbit hole, just, uh, just analyzing every bit of everything and the ending, and, um, <laughs> it's been great, because, like I said, I have been just desperately dodging spoilers this entire time um, and now that it's over for me anyway I can just open the floodgates and just read and watch everything um, it's a very freeing feeling actually I love it very much um, let's see here so we got Poochiena you know what I'm not gonna wait until the level up we're gonna go to Mount Pyre. I'm feeling impatient, baby. Let's do it. This is great. Um, I am just bouncing around without a care. Um, so now we gotta go back here to Lily Cove. Just wanna heal up really quick so we get those power points back. Whoa, wow, we did not see one Zigzagoon in that time. Um, I feel like when we were, uh, whatchamacallit, excuse me. <laughs> When we were EV training there earlier, I was encountering Zigzagoons all the time. Or at least far more often than zero. Um, let's see. Just to be safe. Yes, Tentacool and Tentacruel give special defense. Oh, I love this cool little funeral music that they have going in here. Um, and just in a couple of different spots. We are almost to 60 hours! Wow. We might get close to the max um, at, at, uh, at some point. That's exciting and fun. Um, 
So, like I said, here on the first floor of Mount Pyre, we are going to encounter Shuppets 100% of the time. Um, now, it is annoying that they can do stuff like that. Let me see if this one-shots. That would be ideal. And it does, so that's great. Um, and that will help us get stronger faster, which I love. Because as you can see, we were not growing levels really at all. Ooh, level 28. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so we'll barely survive that, but that's okay. Do we one-shot this one? Not quite. We did lower the special defense. All right, so let's swap into Ziggy here. Yeah, because Nightshade won't affect Ziggy, and I'm really glad that I taught Ziggy Surf, because it can hit a ghost now. There we go. Still gonna get those two. There we go. Nice, love it. And that's the thing with the Macho Brace that's always still annoying. It's always going to have your speed. So until you are like pretty significantly above the Pokemon that you're fighting, you're going to just be outsped pretty much every time. Um, yes, Curse we love to see because if it cuts its HP in half, we're going to knock it, knock it out in one shot 100% of the time. So that is perfection. That is exactly what we want to see. Spite is fine. How about a level 26 shove it? How does that do? There we go. Once we get to the point where we are, where we are outspeeding, we're going to be cooking with gas. I don't think Shuppet is a particularly fast Pokemon. I actually heard like a little interesting factoid about Shuppet and Bennett. Um, just how they are ghost-type Pokemon, but are physical attackers. And in this generation... Um, ghost type moves are physical moves, but traditionally ghost types were special attackers. Like Gengar, for example, is a ghost type, but has really good special attack. So it can use kind of like a wide variety of special attacking moves, but it can't really use its same type ghost moves very effectively. It's very interesting, but Shuppet could. That is until they split it, but that's later. <laughs> we're not there yet. There we go. Screech or uh, Curse is what we want to see. It is great that we were finally able to evolve Stevie. That just really opened things up a lot for us. Um, I'm excited to get Bagon going as well. Um, okay, we can still live one more Nightshade. Oh, wow. Oh boy, don't do Shadow Ball, that sucks. <laughs> that guarantees we're going to have to go to Pokemon Center at some point soon. That is good, though. Alright, we're approaching 100 attack EVs on Matang. Ooh, full heal, lovely. Like I, uh, like I said in my last episode, or in one of my last episodes, um, we found a King's Rock via Ziggy, which was super cool. Um, okay, we only have five left. First turn, Spite is fine. I oh, and that one one shot, lovely. With the help of a critical hit, of course. Perfect. Do, 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 do. Wow, the level really varies here. There we go. Should be able to get Beldum to 100 attack EVs before we 
move along and have to heal him. Perfect. Because without those shadow balls, it's not really a great time trying to train against Shuppet. Ooh, he lives. That's fine. Perfect. Lovely. Oh. Such cool music. I feel like there's gotta be like a... There's gotta be like a metal cover of the Mount Pyre music that exists somewhere out there. Because I feel like that would freaking rip. Um, just like a real doomy... Oh yeah, it's Spite fell because I am out of Shadow Balls. And I just hit 101 attack EVs. Oops. That is lovely. Ooh, I, sh I should make that cover. I mean, hey, you might be right. You might be right. Maybe one of these days. One of these days. Um... I do have plans to cover more video game songs in general. Um, I really enjoyed doing the Gold, Silver, and Crystal one. That was super delightful. Um, and I would like to do it again. I don't know exactly with what. Um, Mount Pyre is definitely a, a candidate. Um, but I got a few ideas. I got a few ideas brewing. Um, I have a couple Silver Cave irons in the fire, believe it or not. Um, I was really happy to release my Taylor Swift covers. That was super fun. Um, and I thought they just turned out really nice. Um, but uh, I have a few other things that... I might get finished this year. Um... We'll see. They, they, they could see the light of day this year. If not this year, it'll be early next year. Um, when I release those, but... Oh, clean is so good. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I mean, you know, I obviously like it too, but I'm so glad that you really like it. That makes me happy. That was like... That was like the first idea that I had. Um... Because I wasn't exactly sure. Basically, I knew Clean was one that I wanted to do, and I had an idea for it. I wanted it to be kind of like slowed down, kind of like sludgy, kind of like almost doomy a little bit. Um, I don't know if it turned out quite like that, but um, I like how it turned out. Um, and that was kind of like the no-brainer. I wasn't quite sure what to do for like a more upbeat song, but then... Uh, Sparks Fly really, uh, really came pretty quickly after that, once I kind of got the main conceit going in my head. Um, I was really off to the races with that. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like, uh, last episode, Starmie was really the star, <laughs> if you will. And... <laughs> <laughs> this time, it's going to be good old Beldum. Good old Beldum. Alright, perfect, because we're going to need two hits to knock out a level 28 anyway. But as we keep going, as those attack EVs grow, we should be doing even better. Um, Let's see. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, I'm looking ahead to where else I need to EV train. Because um, I know there are some spots that I want to train speed. And it looks like the Cave of Origin is a pretty good spot for that. Ooh, or Route 118. Oh, that's actually going to rock. Um, we'll definitely do that. Oh, once I outspeed these things. Once I outspeed these things, they won't know what hit them. There we go. And it's so funny, because I'm really trying to keep good track of my EVs here on each Pokemon, but I also feel like I could totally... <laughs> I, 
I could totally be miscalculating. Or just like... Every tenth encounter we have, I just forget to log it. Um, but, you know, I'm not trying to be, like, too super-duper hyper uh, critical of where the EVs go. Um, I just want to make sure that they're at least pretty um, optimized in the two main stats. Oh, you knocked off my Macho Brace. This is only going to be worth one now. What the heck? That's all right, that puts me back on an even number. I actually like that. <laughs> because like I've said before, if you don't know, um, for EVs, you get 510 total. That's how many EVs your Pokemon can accrue. Um, so what you can do is you can use Curse Script. Um, you can max out two stats because the max that you can put in any one stat there we go we're one shotting now um the max that you can get in any one stat is 255 which means that if you want to just completely max out two stats you can but that'll use all of your evs really what i'm trying to do is maybe get like 200 a piece in the two main stats and then um, from there, maybe putting like a little bit in a third tertiary stat or um, just whatever stat happens to get it. Because at the end of the day, you it's good for all of your stats to be high or like higher. Um, but I guess optimally you want the EVs to be reflected in like what that Pokemon is doing for you on your team. Um, which is why Starmie as like my big special attacking Pokemon has that modest nature and has the special attack EVs because that's what it's going to be doing. Um, okay, so this will knock this out. Probably should heal Matang. Because another Nightshade would have knocked me out. Get rid of this too. I'm just constantly keeping track on my cheat sheet over here. Well, I guess I only have five more Shadow Balls. That might have been a waste of a Super Potion, but that's okay. Because um, we are kind of running low on money, um, but that's not a huge deal because we will be fighting some more trainers um, eventually um, once I get my stat distribution how I like. It's going to be golden kids. I love that that one shot's now. Oh, and something of note that we're actually going to be doing with our Matang. Um, Metagross, in this game, Matang's evolution, gets a signature move called Meteor Mash. Um, however, um, it doesn't learn it until level 55. And um, Matang evolves at level 45. That's relevant because we are only training our Pokemon to level 50 to enter the level 50 uh, tier of the Battle Frontier um, facilities. You can enter at level 50 or open level, which is like level 100, basically. Um, so, oh, I need to mark that one. Um, so, what we are going to do is we are actually going to delay the evolution into Metagross because... While Metagross learns the move Meteor Mash at level 55, Matang learns it at level 50. So we're going to push off the evolution until level 50 so Matang can learn the move and then it will evolve. Um, so that way we'll be able to have our cake and eat it too, so to speak. Alright, All right, let's see if we survive this. I'm at the mercy of you, Shuppet. 
don't use Nightshade. Don't use Nightshade. Great. We had one Shadow Ball left. Great. Optimal. Optimal, if you will. Perfection. Oh, this is like the intro music to the game. Love it! You ever see that episode of Spongebob? I was actually thinking about this the other day. Um, oh, here's a Shuppet. Perfect. I'll feast upon one on my way to Mount Pyre. Um, but uh, that episode of Spongebob where uh, Spongebob and Patrick unthaw Man Ray from Bert Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's lair. He's like trapped in frozen tartar sauce, I remember. Um, and they free him on accident. So, but then they put, like, this tickle belt on him, and <laughs> anytime he does something bad, they will turn on the tickle belt, and it will tickle him mercilessly. Um, we're just gonna pick up a, a special defense EV because I feel like it. It's gonna be great. Um, but, there we go. Um, oh, is it John Lithgow as Man Ray? I actually don't know. I have never thought about that. It does totally sound like him. That's so funny. Um, you, I mean, I don't know. Um, oh, this actually isn't bad either. We can, we can take a couple speed EVs. Love that. Um, but, uh... Yeah, I actually don't know. Uh, look that up for me, Lock Test, if you don't mind. Um, or I guess I could just look it up. Um, I oops, I look up stuff all the time. Bob Joles is his name. It is not. Uh, oh no. It was John Reese Davies. Was originally the voice actor. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. The whole point of this conversation <laughs> um, was that... Oh, <laughs> it does totally sound like him, though. That's not... That's not far off, for sure. Um, but there's a point where they break the controller to the tickle belt, and... Um, Oh, it was Gimli? I don't know. I don't freaking know, man. Um, let's see. Let's see. I'm an adult. This guy's 80. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I keep getting sidetracked. So, they break the controller to the tickle belt. And then it just, like, completely keeps tickling Man Ray, and it just won't stop. And at one point, he goes, Huh, it's tickling my DNA! And that's how I feel um, about Spongebob quotes and certain other things in my life. Like the music from these games. Like, um, freaking everything else about these games. It tickled my DNA so mercilessly that I will just never be able to forget it. It is, like, imprinted on me. Um, alright, so that's actually going to put me back to an odd number, which I hate. It's okay. I'll survive. I'm a survivor. Scary face? We don't need no scary face. We're a friendly Stevie. 
But I mean, classic SpongeBob is just uh, to the goat, man. It's so incredible. I love it so much. I know what you're asking. And I'll tell you what my favorite episode of SpongeBob is. Um, but I don't know if I actually know. I think... I was always partial to... Love the Krusty Krab Pizza episode. That's a great one. I've probably talked about this already on, on a stream somewhere. Forgive me if I have, but... Here you go again. Um, here's, here's this gift. This great gift that I give to you. Um... <laughs> But love the Krusty Krab pizza episode. The chocolate episode is a, a stone cold classic that everybody enjoys. Um, and then, but my favorite might be Band Geeks. Oh no, I forgot to not let Stevie die. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let's let Bagon get it. Bagon needs some attack, Stevie. Band Geeks is hard to beat, it's true. And really, the reason that I love Band Geeks so much is that it is the one, I mean one, episode of Spongebob where Squidward gets to win, man. Squidward never wins. But in that episode, he gets to. Good thing I have a zillion revives. There we go. Oops. Let's see what Ziggy got. Do you have a favorite lock test? Um, bop mm. I also really love the Krusty Krab training video. Um, that one's incredible. Preparing the Krabby Patty. Um. Oh, the one with the snowball fight. Um, I don't remember what that one is called either. Um, I just thought of a quote from that one the other day. Uh, because basically Spongebob and Patrick get in a snowball fight and Squidward thinks it's really stupid, obviously. But then by the end of the episode, Squidward is extremely invested in the snowball fight. Um, <laughs> and uh, they make Spongebob and Patrick make a peace treaty which upsets Squidward because he wants to watch them kill each other. Um, and Squidward rips up the peace treaty and he goes like, there, let the war continue. And then SpongeBob just goes super low, super monotone, incredible line reading, just goes, Squidward, that wasn't the peace treaty, that was a copy of the peace treaty. And it's just so incredible. And I love it. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, Scooper, that wasn't the Peace Treaty, that was a copy of the Peace Treaty. That one lives rent-free. Like I said, I literally just thought about it randomly, like yesterday. That's so funny that you brought it up. Um, Alright, so, so far, our friend Matang is at 144 attack EVs. I'd love to get to 150 today, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We'll have to see. Just gotta be really diligent. Might use some speed up here. Um, thank you, Ziggy, for picking up another item. Be a super potion. It's a repel. I can sell that, though. Um, I would love for Ziggy to pick up some, like, nuggets or something. Um, we spent just so much money getting Flamethrower and then haven't really fought any trainers since. If I can start out speeding the Shuppets, gosh, that would be great. But alas, with the Macho Brace, we still do not. I, I mean, we certainly would without it, but, you know. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Um, excuse me. I'm just burping all over the place. I am always drinking my patented uh, Kroger brand seltzer here. If you want to sponsor me, that's fine. I would love that. Love that. I will be... I will exclusively drink your seltzer if you pay me money for it. There you go. 
154. We'll have to heal, though. Get my Shadow Balls back. I mean, I guess I don't need my Shadow Balls. But it is just nice to have a very reliable one-shot on these bad boys. Oopsie. Alright. We're fighting this one Shadow Ballless. And here I am, River Guardianless. If anyone in the comments can name what that quote is from, you will get a virtual high five from me. Um, okay, I think we're gonna have to use Metal Claw. Hit yourself! That was the worst possible outcome. Mm. Still get the kill. Alright, so we got 158. Thanks, Zig. Ah, super potion, just what I wanted. Um, I'm gonna fly here, because I'm gonna sell those repels. And it is just easier to get to this Pokemon Center. I do still have some rare candies. Those are really going to come in handy when we get to, like, you know, level 45, you know? And I can just top off those levels. All of their EVs will be maxed out, and it's going to be great. You know, I feel like I have talked about Spongebob before, but I haven't really talked about other uh, childhood cartoons that I watched. I watched so very many, probably an upsetting amount, um, of cartoons and just TV in general growing up. Um, Spongebob, Spongebob's kind of always the goat. Um, but I was a, I was a fan of shows across several channels. I was a big Cartoon Network kid. I loved Ed, Ed, and Eddie, baby. Loved that show. Um, Dexter's Laboratory is incredible. Powerpuff Girls is great. Um, also, huge fan of Samurai Jack. I've probably talked about that. Um, the last season of Samurai Jack is so good because it came out, like, years later and they just made it they're just like, we know that you watched this when you were 10, and you are 25 now, so it's just going to be different. <laughs> it's going to be Samurai Jack for a 25-year-old instead of a 10-year-old. Even though the original Samurai Jack is freaking gorgeous, man. Um, it's still so good. And a 10-year-old or a 80-year-old can appreciate it in many respects. Um... But my other freaking goat show was Teen Titans. I love the original Teen Titans. Um, that show was so great. Um, and it was kind of like... Because a lot of the episodes of that show were silly. Um, they had a real wide variety that they could do. Because some of the episodes were just like stupid and insane. And the other ones were, like, high drama, man. Really high stakes. Really emotionally resonant. Um, freaking love Teen Titans, dude. Um, I was kind of sad that they ended up kind of, like, reimagining Teen Titans into just kind of, like, all funny and silly. But uh, that original series run was just so great. It was so great. Great theme song. Um, it's funny talking about quotes. There is a specific quote from Teen Titans that I say to my wife all the time. Specifically when we have... Ooh, I don't want to run. What am I doing? Um, specifically when we have pie. I think of this quote from Teen Titans where Beast Boy takes a bite of pie and he takes the bite and he's like... <gasps> And then, again, it's in that, like, little, low, like, monotone voice. He just goes, This pie is the greatest pie in the history of pie. <laughs> I think about it all the time. I think about it every time I eat pie. It's incredible. All right, so we are, we're closing in. We're almost there. I feel like we can get there. Um, 
during this stream. Uh, it won't be too much longer until I have a little bit more of a hard out on some of these weeknights, but I'm cherishing this while I can. I'll go a little bit longer for you all today. Um, because right now we're at 169 and get to 171. Perfect. So that's going to be, what is that, 30 about? So about 15 more shuppets. So we're going to have to go to the Pokemon Center one more time, which is a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Do, 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 do. And now that Stevie is really just reliably knocking them out, we're really gaining some levels here. Because remember, we got to get this whole squad to level 50. Right now, we're kind of in like phase one of their training because we're just getting them their specific EV stats. And then once they get those, we got to train them up level wise um, to get them to where they need to be. Something I suppose I could do, and if anybody's watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments. If anybody is actively chatting, uh, let me know as well. Um, I could challenge the Battle Factory because I think I explained it when I when we did our little Battle Frontier tour. But at the Battle Factory, um, you don't use your own Pokemon; you use rental Pokemon. Um, so we could challenge that before the squad is ready. Um, so if anybody sees this after the fact and they're just like, dude, definitely do that, just say it. And I will. I don't care. Um, especially because we can use, um, if we go into the battle factory and we win some battle points, we can use those battle points to pick up some, like, some, like, proteins and carbos and whatnot. Um, and we can really use those to expedite the EV training process, specifically on Bagon, because from what I've read, you can only use it on a stat that's EVs is under um, under 100. And, you know, Metagross, I think I've missed two. There we go. Um, Metagross is approaching 200 on attack and Starmie is already at 200 for attack or for special attack rather yeah Starmie does still need quite a bit more speed yeah bag on it's only at 40 attack 34 uh, speed um so we could definitely use some um carboses carboses um on those folks Yes, yeah, so once we get... I love that we're running into these Shuppets on the way to Mount Pyre. That's great. Um, there we go. Yeah, this was kind of our goal originally, honestly. There we go. Harry Jr. is our surfer. Uh, yes, Wingle is good. I will take out a Wingle. Pick up a couple speed EVs. I knew I wanted to do a little bit on... Oh, wow, I thought that would kill it. What do you know? I knew I wanted to do some speed EVs on Metagross. So that is fine. And this remains fine. Perfection. Yeah, we are really making some good progress on Matang today. Very happy about it. I mean, first of all, we got it evolved, which was delightful. Um, and got it some nice HP EVs in the process. And now we're really attacking, attacking the attack EVs. We're like the attack titan. It all comes back to attack on titan, man. For me these days, everything comes back to Attack on Titan. I just can't stop thinking about it. It's so good. So, so very good. All right, so now we're at 187. 
So we are doing pretty great. Um, just a few more and we'll hit 200 and then we'll call it a stream. Okay. I really wanted level 30 to be the level that <laughs> uh, Matang finally outsped the Shuppets, but alas. What can you do? Yes, sir, I'm keeping the music off. I'm really just speeding through this so we can get through some of this. We're at 191. Um, so yeah, we are... The squad is really rounding into form now. Really, Bagon is the only one that needs some real... Um, EV overhaul. We still need to get speed and HP on Starmie and Beldum, but I might I might grind a little bit off stream um, just to kind of get us closer to some of those numbers, um, and we can kind of take part in some other other fun stuff. There we go. Do, do. And I have a little time during my days this week. I am ironically kind of kind of busy. These first couple days of the week haven't been too crazy, but um, I am pretty booked up until it's time to go back to work. Let's see. So um, not sure when the next stream is going to be. Um, it might be on Friday night. There's a possibility of that. It also might still be on Saturday afternoon. Um, I really wanted to get back to the Saturday afternoon stream, um, but something came up that might like move the schedule around a little bit. I'll definitely stream again um, this week. I just don't know if it will be Friday night or Saturday afternoon. All right, folks. Our pal Matang, finally has 200 attack EVs. So with that, I'm gonna call it tonight. Um, thank you for being here with me. Every time, I always gotta say it, I really enjoy having you here with me um, while I play just some of my favorite games. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for checking it out. I really appreciate you as well. Um, with that, uh, we're just gonna continue on this uh, beautiful... <laughs> beautiful journey we call life man but uh i will see you all later this week um again thanks for being here peace kids <laughs>